Tacoma News presents Mosquitoes. Genetically modified mosquitoes could be released in the Florida Keys. Millions of genetically modified mosquitoes could be released in the Florida Keys if authorities grant permission to proceed with an experiment that aims to fight against dengue and chichungunya, which are primarily spread by Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. British biofirm Oxitec genetically modified Aedes aegypti mosquitoes by breeding them with fragments of genes from the herpes simplex virus, E. coli bacteria, coral, and cabbage. The synthetic DNA does not kill the mosquitoes or pose a threat to other organisms, but it kills mosquito larvae. Genetically modified male mosquitoes are released to mate with wild female mosquitoes, whose offspring would die, eventually reducing the overall mosquito population. In a 2012 experiment in the Cayman Islands, 3.3 million genetically modified mosquitoes were released and reduced the wild mosquito population by 96% in six months. Worried about the unintended effects genetically modified mosquitoes would have on local wildlife, more than 130,000 people have signed a change.org petition against the experiment. Mosquitoes use six needles to suck blood. An outbreak of Zika virus is giving scientists added impetus to understand how mosquitoes are so effective at biting us and passing on disease. As of last month, 48 countries and territories had reported active Zika outbreaks. Infection with the virus in pregnant women causes the birth defect microcephaly and other severe brain abnormalities in babies. Scientists hope research into how mosquitoes bite us will lead to new repellents that can arrest the spread of viruses like Zika. Researchers say the mouth of a mosquito has a sheath that protects six needle-like mouth parts, known as stylets. When a mosquito bites, the sheath moves backwards, and two stylets lined with tiny sharp teeth saw through the skin. As these maxillae cut through the skin, two mandibles thrust into the tissue and hold it apart. Another needle drips mosquito saliva into the skin to keep blood flowing, causing an itchy welt to form and spreading diseases like Zika. Receptors in a sixth needle help guide it to a blood vessel. Blood is then sucked up through the stylet like a straw, as blood fills the mosquito's gut, it filters and excretes the water content to absorb nutritious red blood cells. Public health experts recommend using insect repellent, checking screens on doors and removing standing water around our homes to reduce the spread of mosquito-borne viruses. Mega mosquitoes, known as gallinippers, have been spotted in Seminola County, Florida, after heavy rains. Gallinippers are 20 times larger than an ordinary mosquito. Gallinipa larvae play on other mosquito species larvae and even tadpoles. Due to its location, Seminola County is often flooded after heavy rainstorms, providing a perfect environment for gallinippers to grow. Authorities began pre-spraying in swamp areas several months ago. Residents are being advised to wear bug spray containing DEET and to cover up as best as possible. Gallinippers are not known to carry any harmful viruses. Scientists create malaria-resistant mosquitoes. A new gene editing technique may be the cure to ending malaria. Around 3.2 billion people, which is almost half of the world's population, are at risk of malaria. In 2015, Sub-Saharan Africa alone accounted for 91% of malaria deaths. Malaria is a life-threatening disease caused by plasmodium parasites. Humans are infected through bites from infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. Using a genome editing tool called CRISPR, scientists have successfully inserted malaria-blocking genes into mosquitoes, making them resistant to infection. When an altered mosquito mates with a wild mosquito, the offspring inherits both an edited copy and a normal copy of a gene. The CRISPR tool alters the normal copy to force the cell into replicating the edited version when it repairs the damage, thus resulting in two edited copies. Almost 100% of the mosquito offspring tested inherited the malaria-resistant gene. First Zika virus case contracted in the U.S. was sexually transmitted. The Zika virus linked to brain damage in babies is already a pretty frightening mosquito-borne disease. So no one's going to be happy to hear there's a good possibility the virus can also be transmitted through sex. 
The United States has been largely spared from the Zika outbreak spreading through much of Latin America and the Caribbean. But an American traveling to Dallas, Texas from Venezuela reportedly transmitted the disease to his partner through sex. Scientists have suspected that the virus can be transmitted sexually, as there have been case studies in the past suggesting that possibility. In 2013, French scientists found viable Zika virus in a Tahitian man's semen samples, long after the virus disappeared from his blood. The first piece of evidence proving this theory surfaced in 2008, after an American contracted the Zika virus in Senegal. After he returned home to Colorado, his wife was infected with the virus, but their four children were not. The couple concluded that the disease was transmitted during sex. Now that it's apparent the disease can also be transmitted through sexual intercourse, health officials will have to tweak their awareness campaigns. Not only should mosquito bites be avoided, but abstaining from sex with individuals that have recently traveled to Zika-prone areas might also be a good idea. Thousands of genetically modified mosquitoes will be released in Panama in an attempt to stop the spread of the dengue virus. The Aedes aegypti mosquito is the primary vector of dengue. Scientists genetically altered male mosquitoes by putting a sterility gene into the mosquito's DNA. The genetically modified male mosquitoes are then released to mate with wild female mosquitoes, which will lay eggs containing the sterility gene. The eggs will hatch into larvae that die before developing into pupae, eventually causing the overall mosquito population to decline. Dengue fever is a severe, flu-like illness. Symptoms include high fever, accompanied by severe headaches, pain behind the eyes, muscle and joint pain, swollen glands, rash, and nausea. Dengue virus has recently spread to Russia, Portugal, and the US. How self-destructing mosquitoes could stop the Zika virus spread. What if you could turn a species against itself as a way to combat the spread of a disease? A British company, Oxitec, may have a way to fight Zika virus. They create genetically modified mosquitoes that produce offspring that will not survive into adulthood. The company uses a tetracycline repressible activator variant, or TTAV, which ties up the transcriptional machinery of cells, causing them to die. Created in a lab, Oxitec mosquitoes are given a tetracycline antidote, which allows for normal cell expression. These lab mosquitoes will survive into adulthood, whereupon the males will be released into the wild. The offspring of the lab mosquitoes will not possess the antidote and will therefore die before reaching adulthood, reducing the mosquito population and the spread of Zika virus. The modified mosquitoes are non-toxic to predators that eat them. They also contain hereditary fluorescent markers which help researchers distinguish them from wild mosquitoes. Zika virus linked to birth defects likely to spread across Americas. The World Health Organization warned on Monday that mosquito-borne Zika virus, which has been linked to thousands of birth defects in Brazil, is likely to spread across the Americas with the exception of Canada and Chile. The transmission of the Zika virus was first detected in Brazil in May 2015, and since then it has been spreading across many countries in the Americas. The virus is transmitted by the Aedes genus mosquito and has been linked in Brazil to infant birth defects. Since October, Brazil has reported almost 4,000 cases of microcephaly among infants, a condition that causes an abnormal smallness of the head associated with incomplete brain development. As a response to the outbreak, Brazil, together with Colombia, Ecuador, El Salvador, and Jamaica, have recommended that women delay pregnancies for the time being. The virus was first discovered in the Zika forest in Uganda in 1947 then spread to Southeast Asia and French Polynesia until it reached Brazil in 2014. According to Reuters, Zika transmission has not been reported in the United States yet. However, a woman who fell ill in Brazil delivered a baby affected by brain damage in Hawaii. CDC unveils plan to fight Zika. Health officials are bracing for outbreaks of the Zika virus in the continental United States as warmer weather signals the start of the mosquito season. Infection with the virus in pregnant women causes the birth defect microcephaly and other severe brain abnormalities in babies. 
The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is planning to send rapid response teams to any community where the Zika virus is transmitted locally. The CDC will monitor Zika cases by determining the travel and sexual history of patients and whether they are pregnant. Capacity will be increased for laboratory testing, with testing times reduced to help work out how widespread Zika is in any area. Vector controls of mosquitoes will also be increased, depending on the severity of the outbreak. Meanwhile, response teams will communicate with the public and advise of any areas that pregnant women should avoid. Blood donations will be monitored in Zika-affected areas, and supplies for transfusions will be brought in from non-affected regions. Southern states that are home to the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is the primary vector for Zika, have the highest risk of an outbreak. However, officials do not expect an explosion of cases in the mainland U.S. due to a higher prevalence of air conditioning and window screens, and a population that is more widely spread out than the densely populated areas of South America, where Zika has taken hold. Woman returning to Texas from El Salvador diagnosed with virus believed to cause birth defects. Health officials in the U.S. are worried about the possible spread of a mosquito-borne virus that has been linked to abnormal brain development in children. Texas health officials on Tuesday confirmed that a woman who had recently returned to the Houston area from El Salvador was diagnosed with the Zika virus. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, since 2007, at least 22 cases of Zika have been confirmed in travelers returning to the U.S. from other countries. In December, Puerto Rico confirmed its first locally acquired case of Zika, suggesting the virus may now be circulating there. Zika is transmitted by the Aedes genus of mosquito. It causes a mild disease with fever, rash, and joint pain, but is rarely fatal. However, Brazil is investigating a possible connection between the virus and infants born with a condition known as microcephaly, an abnormally small head size associated with incomplete brain development. Outbreaks of the Zika virus have so far occurred in parts of Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific Islands. The virus is usually treated with bed rest and liquids. Officials in Brazil estimate that 500,000 to 1.5 million people have been infected with the virus. Malaria mortality rate is cut in half since 2000. The number of people who contract and die from malaria on an annual basis has decreased significantly since 2000, according to a new report published by the World Health Organization. The World Health Organization estimated there were 198 million malaria infections worldwide in 2013, down from 227 million in 2000. 882,000 people died from malaria in 2000, a figure that fell to 584,000 in 2013. The malaria mortality rate decreased by 47% during the same period. Azerbaijan and Sri Lanka reported zero indigenous malaria cases for the first time in 2013, while 11 other countries also reported zero indigenous cases. A key factor behind the success in the fight against malaria is the increasing accessibility of insecticide-treated mosquito bed nets to at-risk populations. Another key factor is improved access to rapid diagnostic tests. However, the WHO warned that malaria may again spread in Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Guinea, as the Ebola epidemic has put a huge strain on the public health systems in these countries. The WHO said that while funds for malaria control increased threefold last year, that was only about half of the 5.1 billion U.S. dollars needed to achieve its targets. The chikungunya virus has made a return in Singapore, with 924 reported cases since April. The virus is mostly endemic in tropical Africa and Asia. Mosquitoes transmit the virus between humans. Infected mosquitoes inject the virus into the bloodstream while feeding. Once the chikungunya virus enters the bloodstream, it infects and replicates in human cells. Replicated viruses are released into the bloodstream, driving inflammation. Symptoms of chikungunya infection include fever, headache, muscle pains and severe arthritis, as well as nausea and vomiting. There are currently no vaccines or antivirals to treat chikungunya infections, but fatalities related to chikungunya virus are rare. LG launches mosquito-repelling TV in India. A South Korean conglomerate has launched a television in India with built-in mosquito-repelling technology. 
LG Electronics has developed a TV with a built-in ultrasonic device. The device emits ultrasonic waves above 30 kilohertz, which are inaudible to humans, but calibrated to repel mosquitoes. The device continues to function with the TV switched off, as long as the set remains plugged into a power source. In addition to the anti-mosquito TV, LG has also applied the technology to its air conditioners sold in India. The company said the technology has been certified effective by an independent lab in India. Drug manufacturer GlaxoSmithKline is seeking approval for the world's first malaria vaccine after trials in Africa showed it had cut the number of cases in children. Malaria is responsible for the deaths of approximately 600,000 children in sub-Saharan Africa each year. The company used proteins from the malaria parasite Plasmodium falciparum and the hepatitis B virus to manufacture the vaccine, known as RTRSS. During trials in seven countries, the vaccine was administered to 15,000 children aged from six weeks to 17 months via a course of three injections. Results showed that in children vaccinated between the age of six to 12 weeks, the number of clinical cases of malaria was reduced by 27% over a period of 18 months. While for those vaccinated between five to 17 months, the number of cases was reduced by 46% over the same period. GlaxoSmithKline, which has been working on the vaccine for three decades, said based on the results, it would submit a regulatory application to the European Medicines Agency, EMA, 